So, okay, today we're going to tie a spent wing caddis. Uh, one of the things I like about this pattern is the fact that it could land as a dry fly upside down or right side up. Doesn't matter. Gives the same profile on the water surface as it would either way. Kind of neat when you have to worry about your other dry flies landing a certain way and laying on the water a certain way to give that right profile. Today I'm going to be tying with an 8 out thread, black. And I'm going to start right at the hook eye. Generally I don't start this close up, but with this pattern we're tying in a, a deer wing which has a tendency to rotate. So I'm going to wrap about halfway back and I'm going to go ahead and take three of my uh, chosen peacock curl. And I'm going to snip off the slide ends and I'm going to go ahead and tie them in all the way back to the barb. I'm going to start with some loose wraps, wrapping all the way back candy cane style, not touching, to the beginning of the bend which is at the hook barb. I'm now going to wrap forward and lock it all in and then one more time wrap back thus making sure that everything stays where it needs to be. Notice it's on top of the hook shank. I'm going to leave the thread there, turn my vise somewhat upside down, and start wrapping forward the peacock all the way up, creating a nice body, somewhat tapered from the back to the front. And I'm not going to stop where I normally would for a body, because what I want to do is, is keep this including my thorax. So I'm going to wrap all the way up. Then I'm going to tie off right there about an eye back. Just like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut this peacock off. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap right back over it and wrap backwards for about two eyes back. And now I'm going to go ahead and tie on some bleached hair and the way I like to do it is I like to choose it about the width of my uh, bend and stack it in my hair stacker like thus and now I'm going to even the ends are evened up and I'm going to go ahead and tie this in just a wee bit at the hook barb at the uh, hook the bend coming up and I'm going to pinch it and I'm not going to cut it off I'm going to come up and pinch right between my fingers and I'm going to come down capture that right on top and put my thread exactly over the top of itself and I'm going to give it a couple of wraps pull down let the bobbin hang for a minute hold everything yes looks good so I'm going to go ahead and lock this in a couple more times. And now I'm going to pick it up in the front and I'm going to wrap right in front, which is going to kind of help lock this in on top of that hook shank to where it's not going to move around. From here, I'm going to come up from the eye and just cut it right off. And right now I'm just somewhat getting it out of my way. I'm not shaping a head, but I'm keeping the length right there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my thumb and I'm going to come to the top and I'm going to splay this out to where I've got equal amounts on each side. Just like that. This is not hard to do. And just kind of pull it to each side. And once I've done that, I've opened up a space between the hair and my body on the near side, just like that. And I'm going to come right around the front, and I'm going to X-wrap, just like I would do a dry fly. And I'm going around where that original thread wrapped, holding it to the body. Now I'm going to pull this side just out. Maybe if I do it, you guys can see this. Just like that, I come up and over. And 
And now I'm splaying that out. I'm going to pull this more. And I'm going to come around again and lock that in. So now what I've done is, is I've created a nice X pattern with my thread on top. If you can see, my wings are out to the side, just like that. And from there, I'm going to do a couple more around here, just like that up and then I'm going to come around this side and up and now from here I'm not too concerned about having a ton of um, thread holding everything in but what I do need and that is, is a whip finish and I'm going to put that directly under the head so I'm going to come around with a half hitch and I'm going to do a nice half hitch slide under that head and there we go, locking it all in without capturing anything. Two, three, four, and five. Go ahead and cut it. Now, as you can see, I have a splayed out wing. My body comes all the way up. I have a nice thorax underneath. The wing is not wrapped underneath. It's all on top coming out. I'm going to kind of smash this down just a wee bit with my thumb. A la Shane Stallcup. I've seen him do it one time. And now I'm going to form my head. So now I'm going to cut a nice round area just around the eye. Just like that. So I have a nice round caddis head over the top of my eye. The wings are splayed out. And this fly can land either way. Doesn't matter on the water. And it is completed. This is a great easy pattern to tie as you can see. It doesn't take many materials. It's not my pattern. I think it's called the, a BP spent wing caddis or BPS, I'm not sure, but it's really cool, easy to tie, floats in the film, and when they're eating these things, this is a great pattern. I tied this on a 16 here, but I recommend 18s. I wouldn't go any smaller. Thank you.